Boris hails the forthcoming COP26 conference in Glasgow as a turning point for the world. And in some ways, he is right, but not in the way that he means. There is no doubt that the CO2 concentration in the atmosphere has increased. And here on the CO2 curve, we have plotted all the climate conferences. And you can see none of them make any difference at all. So let's look at all the conferences and plot them on the CO2 curve. As you can see, all the conferences, including Paris, make no difference whatsoever to the rise of CO2. It's all a political illusion. For example, let's take what China agreed to in that Paris Agreement. It agreed that it can increase CO2 as much as it likes until 2030 and then hold that high level after that. The result is that it now builds more coal power stations than all the other countries in the world combined. Basically, the Paris Agreement was that any country could sign up to what it wanted, its own version of the agreement, and send it in. And today, just before COP26 at Glasgow, China pledges to stop building coal power stations overseas, whilst of course continuing record levels of building of coal power stations within China. And then of course, as wind power manufacturers stop manufacturing wind vanes in Germany and export their production to China, China uses coal to manufacture the green products, the wind vanes, etc. for the rest of the world. Well, just who are they fooling with this cynical move? Well, they are fooling, it seems, the whole of the Western world's leaders, and above all, Boris, who has to succeed in Glasgow for his own vanity. And the cost of this vanity is enormous, when no matter what we do in the UK, we'll make no difference at all to the CO2 output on that curve. With just 1% of the world's CO2 output, the UK, even if it disappeared, would soon be made up for by China and India in a matter of months. For a much more in-depth understanding, visit my climate realism videos.